This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. Next month, as we celebrate Independence Day, let us take the opportunity to thank God for our country. In the United States, we are so blessed to enjoy religious freedom. Many of our brothers and sisters in other parts of the world face violence and death because of their Christian faith. Though we may not face such extreme persecution, at least not yet, at this time in history we are being threatened by forces within our own nation that are looking to rob us of religious freedom and banish religious expression from the public square. Yet religious freedom does not mean only the worship of God within the four walls of a church. Rather, we look to the words of Jesus who said, Your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. End of quote. And, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. End of quote. Thus, the freedom to follow Jesus must also entail the freedom to give public witness to our faith by our good deeds and by our words. Religious freedom must include the freedom to bear witness to our faith. Our freedom to bear witness is now being compromised in many ways in our land, and allow me to cite just one example. The Department of Health and Human Services has issued health insurance coverage regulations that would force many religious organizations to be complicit in the provision of drugs that cause abortions. Our freedom to bear witness to what is good by our actions is being threatened. The bishops of the United States once again are calling for a fortnight for freedom, which will run from June 21st to July 4th. The theme this year is our freedom to bear witness. During these days, please visit the U.S. Bishop's website to learn more about religious freedom and share the information with others. Contact government officials and urge their support of religious freedom and pray the following prayer daily. And let us now pray that prayer together. O God, our Creator, from your provident hand we have received our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You have called us as your people and given us the right and duty to worship you, the only true God, and your Son, Jesus Christ. Through the power and working of your Holy Spirit, you call us to live out our faith in the midst of the world, bringing the light and the saving truth of the gospel to every corner of society. We ask you to bless us in our vigilance for the gift of religious liberty. Give us the strength of mind and heart to readily defend our freedoms when they are threatened. Give us courage in making our voices heard on behalf of the rights of your church and the freedom of conscience of all people of faith. Grant, we pray, O Heavenly Father, a clear and united voice to all your sons and daughters gathered in your church in this decisive hour in the history of our nation, so that with every trial withstood and every danger overcome, for the sake of our children, our grandchildren, and all who come after us, this great land will always be one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.